Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be discussing with you about the overall working of a computer system with the help of a block diagram. The main functions of the computer can be summarized into four parts. First, it will accept the data from the user. It stores and retrieves the data when required. It processes the data into useful information. And then finally, it gives the information to the user as output. We can understand all this in detail with the help of a block diagram. The block diagram of a computer is made up of four units. The input unit, the memory unit, which is also known as the storage unit, the central processing unit, and the output unit. The input unit is an interface between the outside world and the computer system. That is, it links the outside world to the computer system. The user gives the data as input to the computer through this unit. The data which is given by the user will be in human understandable form which will not be understood by the computer. So, the input unit will convert this data into computer understandable form. Here are few input devices. The keyboard, joystick, mouse and the scanner. After the data is given as input to the computer, it is stored in the memory or storage unit. The memory unit in the computer is the combination of secondary memory and the primary memory. The secondary memory or the secondary storage is the permanent memory of the computer. That means the data and instructions are stored for a longer period of time here. The data is not erased when the computer is turned off. So it is also known as non-volatile memory. Here are some secondary storage devices, hard disk, floppy disk and the pen drive. The primary memory is a temporary memory. That is, the data and instructions are not saved for a longer period of time. Here, the data gets erased when the computer is turned off. Hence, it is also known as volatile memory. RAM is the primary memory. Then, we have the CPU, the central processing unit. We also call this as the heart and brain of the computer. CPU comprises of two units, that is the control unit and the arithmetic logic unit. The control unit controls the overall working of a computer system. The actual processing or the calculation is done by the arithmetic logic unit. It performs arithmetic and logic calculations. CPU uses the data which is stored in the primary memory. So for processing the data, if it is not in the primary memory, it will be loaded in the primary memory and then it is transferred to the CPU for processing. CPU does not access the data from the secondary memory. After the processing is done, the result is sent back to the memory unit and then it is displayed to the user as output whenever required. The output unit is the opposite of input unit. It is an interface between the computer system and the outside world. That is, it links the computer system to the outside world by displaying the result given by the computer to the user. The output or the result given by the computer will be in computer understandable form which the user cannot understand. The output unit will convert this into human understandable form and then gives it to the user as output. Here are few output devices, the monitor, printer and the speakers. That's it for this video. You are free to comment if you have any queries related to this video. Found this informative? Then please do like, 
share and subscribe have a nice day